hi everyone this is um obviously not a normal view that you are used to um today i'm going to be filming um kind of like a makeup storage video but since i don't have fancy beauty rooms like the rest of the world does um i'm going to be showing you my freelance kit because technically that is where i store all my makeup um so yeah so today i'm just going to give you a little tour of my bags um because like i said that is where i keep everything i don't take anything out and store it like on my desk or anything like that um so yeah, so that's the video for today. Oh, I had to make a plan to try and view in like a bird's eye view. I mean, what? I tried recording in bird's eye view. So I've got some weird ass contraption right now just to give you this view. So if the video shakes a little, I'm really sorry. So let's get into the video of my freelance kit. Okay, so to start off with, I normally travel, or when I'm doing freelances at least, I normally take two bags with me. The first one here is this guy right here. This is a Mac briefcase or a Mac travel briefcase. That's what it's technically called. But really, it's just a fancy word for this bag right here. I did get it at Mac. Um, I obviously bought it with my discounts and stuff when I was still working there, so it is pretty pricey, but let me tell you something. It is the most durable bag I have ever had in my life when it comes to traveling around with your makeup and keeping your makeup safe. By far, I would say this is the most stable and sturdy bag I've had. So I'm going to give you a look at it um, right now. So it's a soft cover bag. Um, it does come with two like handle straps, it has a zip, and it also comes with a shoulder bag strap. So let's just tilt it down, oops, the side first so I can just show you. So it does have these little compartments where you can hold like bottles and stuff. I normally don't put anything on the sides just because the bag is so full on the inside that I can actually put nothing here. And I'm worried that with me walking and bumping around my bag against like counters and stuff that whatever I do put in here gets damaged but anyway so that's that side Ugh. the other side has a zip compartment normally I, I used to put my um towel down the one that I use on the counters um in here but again because my bag is so full nothing fits in the zip area cool so let's get into it when you open it this is what it looks like obviously it will be empty so there's three mesh compartments here with the zips these two are smaller than this one obviously then you have this flippy folder i don't know thing and it's detachable so you can take the zip off here and then actually pull this piece out the bag if you want to take that out and then this side is all my other containers but these are clear cases um they open and close with a zip and they are detachable because they have little velcro goodies here so you can take these out too if you want to cool so i'm going to give you a squiz at the goods so let's start this side so in here this big compartment here is where i keep all my foundations that don't really have an NC or an NW shade. So these are like my foundations that I keep for myself, but um, they don't have like the NW or NC code. So I keep these in here. So you can see like all of my foundations are in here. Um, so those are in there. I also keep primers. I know this is a weird primer, but I swear by this, especially if you're doing male grooming this is a great primer for them to use because it's also a post bomb shave but anyway um i don't want to get too much into detail but i do want to give you like the full experience so yep i keep my primers in here my concealer palettes um my powders as well and then also i have a really small clear bag in here too this is not a mac one 
wow this is shaking a lot stop it this is not a mac one this is one i got at woolworths it came in a toiletry set but this is where i keep like my smaller primers or like my samples of my primers so look at that up here quick so like i keep my small little primers and stuff like this in here um i also keep my tools like my lash applicator my lash curler um, like my eyelash glue all of that comes in here because they are small items and I know it's difficult to find so I keep them in this bag and it's also clear so I can see what's in them so yes yeah, so I just keep mainly like my skincare my primers um, stuff like that in here just because it is quite a big meaty section of um, well this part of the bag and also what's great is that this is mesh so that it's it's soft so it's flexible so that's what this is for um and then these two compartments here i was very smart i divided them up so these are all my nw foundations and concealers and then these are all my nc foundations and concealers so i'm going to just show you those quickly um so normally what i do is I decant well I decanted everything while I was still working at Mac um so you get everything in these little sample jars like that it's easier than trying to carry around so many of these big bottles because they do just tend to take up space but because I did buy a lot of my foundation and my own personal product through my Mac discount obviously it came in their bottles and stuff so i have a few bottles of foundation um the foundations themselves are products that i bought with my discount so it's foundations that i like and have a lot of so i have two water weights two face and bodies of course in two different shades especially for like when i am in the mood for like self tan i have a lighter shade and a darker shade in my foundation shade so that i don't go hungry if you know what i'm saying and then I have my favorite Studio Fix powder in my shade. You can see, like, I just have a whole bunch of sample jars of the foundations because it's just so much easier to travel with that. And then you'll notice that I pulled out this bag first. Um, this is a makeup bag from MAC, it was a collection bag from a while ago. And in here is where I keep all the concealers that are in C. So I have like mineralized concealers, I have Studio Fix concealers, I have waterway concealers, Prolongway concealers, again, all in these jars, just because, again, it's much easier to travel with. And then the same thing for this side, these are all my NWs. Cool, so like I said, these are all my NW shades. This is also, this pink and purple baggie here is also from a collection that we did, so it is another MAC bag, but whatever. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to detach this for you so that you can get a good look at it. See, so it comes off. You can take it out or put it back in. So let's discuss this third side here. So this side has one of these um, pockets. And then there's two compartments with zips. So you can either zip it that way or that way. So in here, I normally keep cotton pads, um earbuds makeup remover and then my lashes so i'll divide up my lashes between the two pockets and then keep all my cleaning i don't know sanitary things in here and then when you flip the bag over this is just one big zip compartment like that and in here i call this my body bag it's not really a body bag for dead people this is just all the things I use to touch up on the body. So like if someone needs to be a little bit more bronzed or if they need like a bit of a shimmer or a body glitter, you can find that in this bag or on the side of my bag. What I am missing from here is Vaseline and just normal body moisturizer. Um, I finished those the last fashion week I did when I was still working for MAC and never replenished because shortly after that I left and resigned in any case um and i haven't had the chance to do any freelances or anything like that so i would put those in here 
I also have my beauty blenders. My three beauty blenders are in here too. I have sellotape and scissors. Basically, the only reason why I have these in my kit is from when I was still doing fashion weeks and stuff with MAC backstage. And to clean up glitter or to clean up anything around the makeup, you would need sellotape and stuff to do that with. Um, especially because that's where we normally use a lot of glitter and then this is my selfie light that I also got while I was working there so it has you can clip this onto your phone or onto something and then it has a little button here for three different level of intensities for brightness and stuff like this we used to clip this on our brush bolt because that would come across your body so that again when you're backstage and you can't see what's going on you would use your selfie your little mini selfie light to shine up in the model so that you can see what you're doing and where you need to place your product so i keep that with me if i am working in a really bad lit room or if i'm doing touch-ups for like brides and stuff i don't know but yeah so that is in there then moving down okay so let's get into the clear baggies so i've got two large and two small this side here is my bronzing and color bag so i have all different bronzers blushes and cream contours and liquid contours i'm um, in here so I keep that in there. Um, normally when I get MAC blushes like this, I will decant them and put them in a palette. Um, just kind of nostalgic like that where I want to try and keep everything in its pretty packaging before I ruin it and, you know, get rid of it. So I'll normally try and keep it in its pretty packaging until I get tired of it and then take it out. Um, just because it takes up a lot of space. And then this first little bag here is where I keep all my mascaras and all my mascara primers. I used to keep my eyelash curl in here as well. But I just found that it just it kept getting damaged and like beaten up here. Because I would literally push everything down on this section of my bag. Like I'd squeeze everything in here. Um, and that was just not user friendly so then this little second bag here is where i will keep eye primers um decanted samples of brow creams um my brow tints small little palettes of like eyebrow shades or like small eyeshadow shades um i've got eye glosses in here as well um oh, pots of eyeliner so like these little guys here of like the pro long wear fluid lines so that's pretty much what i'll keep in here um so yeah this is like brows and eyes um, so then lastly this big bag on this side is all my highlighting products cream powders liquids the works i don't have a lot of highlighters but i've got two or three palettes a couple of stick highlighters powder highlighters I would love to make a highlighting palette but the problem is is that you can't decant our highlighters because of how they're situated in the pans so yeah so this is my mac briefcase my mac travel bag this is mainly where most of my product sits i'm very fortunate enough to find to have found a way to fit everything in here so this will lay open on my desk and anytime I need to do something or when I'm doing a look for you guys on YouTube, this is next to me and I just go and fish in for what I need. Um, a lot of you are probably asking why, <laughs> why I've labeled everything with my name and here's why. While I'm closing, I'll explain to you. So here's why. So when I was still doing um, like backstage events and stuff with Mac, Obviously, not everyone's going to have absolutely everything they need for the look. So let's say the look is a bright blue smoky eye with a red lipstick. So here's the thing. I will have all the products I need for a blue smoky eye. But for some reason that day, I don't have a red lipstick. So you go around and you ask your neighbor, hey, do you have Ruby Woo lipstick? Because I don't have Ruby Woo lipstick. So then they give you Ruby Woo lipstick. 
But now you'll find that while you are using Ruby Woo lipstick, your neighbor next to you also doesn't have that red lipstick for some reason. So then she'll say to you, hey, can I use your red lipstick? And then I'll say, sure, but it belongs to this person, so make sure it comes back to me so I can give it back to them. And that lipstick will travel throughout the group. And then you lose out on your Ruby Woo because now you can't remember who has it and who gave it to who and X, Y, and Z. So that's why you label everything when you're working backstage so that when someone is using your product, they can say, oh, this belongs to Shan. Let me go give it back to Shan. So I've labeled absolutely everything down to even my containers. If I need to give the whole container to someone, then at least they know everything in here is still Shan's and still belongs to Shan. And let me tell you something, even though you've labeled your product and your brushes and stuff, it still goes missing. So yeah, so all my stuff is still labeled from when I used to work at Mac. Okay, I had to reshuffle my setup a little but this is the second bag that I take it is a small I don't know travel bag so you know when you get your like travel cases they come in a set of three this is the smallest one it's just a plain material um bag I've had this for so long because I actually used to use this bag back in the good old day when I was dancing I used to contain all my costumes in here and then have my makeup bag in my hand so yeah so this is where I keep um, the other stuff I'll show you what other stuff I'm talking about so let's just open it up here I don't keep anything in the lid because the lid has a little zip I don't keep anything in there again for the same reason that I don't want someone to like bump into me or walk into me or I bump something and then whatever's in there breaks cool so first off a towel I just have a normal Towel from Mr. Price. This one is a dark grey. Um, a darker colour works best because white towels are hard to clean. And why would you lay down a white towel to do makeup? Let's just get real. So just a normal grey, like whatever towel from Mr. Price. Then over here is my brush belt. It's currently empty because I haven't done any freelancing. I even still have like old stuff from freelancing in here. It's a little bit dirty, but it's done me good. It's from... Inglot, my husband bought me this because I kept saying I've been dying for a brush belt and he eventually was kind enough to buy me one. It's just a material one. It's black. It has adjustable um, an adjustable strap on it. Um, so yeah, so I'll keep my brush belt obviously with all my brushes in there. Duh. They're sitting like this in a tin. So I would actually take these tins with me and put all the dirty brushes in here and separate them from the clean brushes. I'm um, just for hygiene and stuff um so yeah so i have this one this is an old coffee flask <laughs> that i got from mac the one year for christmas we all got mac flasks that year so i have um this one i have this little green like laundry basket looking thing that my mom gave me um and i'm also keeping all my brushes in so yes so you'll see like a whole bunch of loose bags in here oh, this is my Matt lanyard from Mac. Normally we would put our eyelash curlers on the ends of these things, but I used to use them to lock my cash till when I was still working there. Um, but whatever, so that's my lanyard. So I have a whole bunch of clear bags and some makeup bags. So let's start with this one. This is a makeup bag I got with a makeup box subscription a while ago. And in here is where I keep all my different kinds of lip glosses. If it's a lip gloss, that one hasn't been opened yet. If it's a lip gloss or anything like that, it's in here. No matter what kind of lip gloss, no matter what color, you can find my lip glosses in this bag. I'm still trying to find a clear bag for um that one. And then I have this clear bag which contains all my loose glitters and all my liquid glitters, pressed glitters, anything glitters in here. This bag came with the clear bag set that I got from Woolworths so this is not a Mac bag but as you can see um, it has all my pots of glitter my liquid glitters and then of course I have decanted glitters as well for travel purposes I also have travel glitters like the Mac mini glitters are in here too because um, normally the pots of glitter from Mac come in these things like this um, but I've just decanted them 
and some from other brands as well because ha oh, I had the chance to do a lot of sampling while I was still on counter so all my glitters are in here this little case here is a MAC one this is part of a trio so I've got the small the medium and the large so this comes in one set and I think I actually got these off of a friend I'm not sure but I think I did so in this little case is all my lip liners all my eyeliners all my eyebrow pencils um, glitter liners brow pens any pencil goes in here this you can see is already like full to capacity um, so I'm going to need to find a bigger one, but yeah, so this is pretty much the little case, also clear, and it just has all my pencils in. Then going to the medium one, these contain all my liquid lipsticks and um, like liquid toppers from MAC. So basically majority of this bag is the Retro Matte Liquid Lips. I've got some NYX in here too, I've got some new colour in here, I've got holographic toppers so basically all of that comes in this medium bag this is also almost full to capacity but what are you gonna do cool and then in my big bag here is all the lipsticks that i have not put in a palette yet i have moved well i recently moved all my lipsticks into a palette because again just to condense my kit and make it smaller so um normally I don't touch my Viva Glams because they're collector's items and stuff like that. And normally if they do come in pretty packaging like this, then I won't touch them. But the normal bullets, I'll try and get rid of. Um, and stuff like that. So you can see, like, most of my bag is all collector's items and decorative packaging. And they come in, like, just special bullets. So I try not to touch those. Um, I've also got, like, collection mini lipsticks in here or whatever so normally i try not to touch like the decorative lipsticks because they are collector's items all my leftover lipsticks are in the big case cool and then this is the last thing in the bag this is really just a container bag for everything so i have this little bag here i'm just gonna move that whoops out the way so this is an old toiletry bag that i got as part of a um makeup subscription box has a little handle little zippy to open up and this is where i keep all my palettes so i have a lot of mac palettes a lot of morphe palettes obviously and then some other items so i have this palette this is a collection item from mac it was part of a christmas collection that we did for christmas a while ago um, it's the warm palette. These two palettes here are my Studio Fix contouring and highlighting palettes from MAC. I have the light and the dark. This is my NYX contour, Love Contours All palette. So basically it's a face palette. It has contour and highlighting shades, eyeshadows, brow shadows. Um, I really like this palette because it's neutral, it's easy and if I'm touring or let's say like I'm going away, then I would literally just take this because it literally has everything I need in it. So then these four palettes here is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. Um, my husband was very nice enough to buy me all four of them. So I've got Bling Boss, which is the purple one, Dark Magic, which is the blues and greens, Armed and Gorgeous, which is like the yellow and golds. And then ring the alarm which is like the reds and oranges um i don't have the box set i just have the palettes cool so these are the mac palettes that i bought for myself with the inserts so this is a medium palette with a times nine insert um, i've labeled it spare palette because this is where i just keep all the spares that don't really have a home um in it yet um so these are the shades i have in here for now this is my lip palette, so this is a large eyeshadow case, or large single palette. It's single because it doesn't have another side, so you get doubles, which I'll show you in a second. So I bought a concealer insert and melted all my lipsticks in here. And obviously labeled my lipsticks. Cool, so I have a few single palettes, so like, and they're all labeled, um, 
this one's not labeled which is stupid but this is my white and nude palette that i made for myself so this is an eyeshadow one it's the large single case with the by 15 inserts so you can only fit 15 eyeshadows in here and then you can buy the pans loose from mac or if you get a pot you can just decant it yourself but yeah so these are my nude um and white eyeshadows and then i also just label them with like little stupid sticky things so that i know so that when they're sitting in my bag i can be like oh this is my white and nude palette and then these are my pink and red eyeshadows same thing i do the schematics myself because to me this looks correct so this is the double palette so this palette has my blues and purples and my green and yellow eyeshadows so that when you open it it's double sided so in this you can fit 30 eyeshadows so i have um this little thing in between to divide them up so these are my eyeshadows again with the stickers and then you flip it over and then those are my greens and yellows i do prefer these palettes more because you can carry more and a little bit more dense and more sturdy this is the blush oops and ccb palette and then also some stragglers um so you'll see i don't have an insert for this i do have inserts but i just i can't use them because i ordered the wrong size so you'll see like the pans come with magnets already so you can just stick them in the pan like that and then they won't go anywhere and then i've done the same thing for like loose eyeshadows that still don't have a home and then cream color bases so everything that you buy in a pan from mac will always come with this magnet so that you can stick it in the case i have an inglot palette this is the eco case sorry yeah environmentally friendly freedom system um case with their eyeshadows their actual palette is magnetized um and then because their pans are metal they just slot in and stick in and then this is also magnetized and i've also got the names and everything on it's just it makes like good sense to know what shades you have especially if you're doing videos and stuff so this one's quite nice i do actually like this palette a lot i just don't like that this can move i'm not happy but it is what it is and the last two palettes i have are the jacqueline hill palettes i have the original one and the newest one these are obviously my biggest palettes they have 35 shades and they go in at the back so I'll normally just slot them like kind of according to size and then with my Mac ones I will make sure that you can see the names at the top obviously otherwise I ain't got a cooking clue where I am in my life but that's pretty much it um so yeah thank you for watching I hope this was useful informative and if not then at least you got to see my kit and what i use to store it and things like that so yeah have a good one further and then i'll see you in my next video which will definitely be a tutorial bye